Howdy guys, Andy Pixel here. In this next video in the Houdini Basics series, I wanted to cover something that is a little bit elusive when it when you're first starting out with Houdini and exporting to FBX uh, for your game engines. All right, and specifically around how you go and structure all of your geometry nodes, such that when you import it into your game engine, you you get the individual pieces of geometry. You don't just get one merged together piece of geometry. So I often see uh, beginner is struggling with this. So I wanted to make a video here really quick. So the first thing to do uh, in this particular process, is we're going to go about, you know, creating some geometry just like we always do. So I'm just going to go and actually drop down some, you know, really rough geometry. I'm just going to create some, you know, basic shapes here. And so let's create a box. Uh, let's do a platonic solid. All right. So let's make a little pyramid there. And how about we go and make a torus? All right. Very cool. So now we've got three objects in obj okay so each one of these contains different geometry all right cool so let's go and place these guys i'm going to go and select the platonic solid and then over here in the scene view i'm going to hit enter to bring up the little transform gizmo now you can always go and hit s as well and select the object and then hit enter and that will also allow you to interactively go and move these things so again once you're in this mode, you have to hit S again, and then select the object, and then enter, and that allows you to get back to that move mode. All right, so I'm just gonna leave these guys there, hit escape, so I get back to my camera view. Awesome. So now I have three objects here, and what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that when they get imported into my game engine, whether it be Unreal or Unity, they are individual pieces of geometry. I can move them independently, and they still have their pivots right here. Okay, so if I were to go and select this guy, I want the, the pivot right th where it is right there. All right, same for that guy. So to do that, you have to go and select all your geometry nodes and put it into what is called a subnet. So you select them all. You can go and hit this little box right here. And that puts it into a subnet. Or you can select them all and hit Shift-C. All right. Or you can just go and start with the subnet if you know that you're going to be making multiple pieces of geometry. And inside of that subnet, go and add geometry nodes just like we just did. All right, so really quick way to do this, just select them all and hit Shift-C on the keyboard and then give it a name. So I'm gonna call this my uh, shapes, like so. Cool. So one other thing that's really important when we are working on game models for our games inside of our game engines is materials. All right, so let me go and actually just move these guys over here, get them out of the way. So each one of our objects, uh, I wanna have its own material. So a really quick way to do that, uh, if you have the SideFX Labs shelf installed here, all right, it's changed to SideFX Labs. It used to be called Game Dev Tools, which, uh, you know, I kind of like Game Dev Tools, but whatever. SideFX Labs is cool too, all right, more scientific, all right. So let's go and uh, jump inside the box node. One thing I would want to do is use the material. So if we use the Labs Quick Material and just wire that in and just give it a name. So we're going to call this um, Box Mat. All right, this name will actually show up inside of Unity or inside of Unreal. All right, so let's go to Taurus, and let's actually just copy it. So we're not having to create that. So I'm just going to copy that by hitting Control C on the keyboard. Jumping back into the Taurus here, just wire that up, and let's just call this the Taurus Met. There we go. And then let's jump into our Platonic Solid and hook that guy up. There we go. So now we have our Pyramid. Awesome. Cool. So now we've got materials for all of our objects and they're just waiting for textures to be assigned. So with that, let me hide my shelf here. Let's go and export this and test it out inside of Unity. It works the same exact way inside of Unreal. Now, I'm just more of a Unity user. So I'm going to go up to file up here, go to export, launch the Filmbox FBX export options and pick a place on or wherever you want to you know, send the particular FBX. In this case, I'm just going to send it to my desktop. I'm going to call it My Shapes, hit Accept. And now what you can do is you can drag and drop this into the export path, or you can go and hit this little button and select the subnet. Or if you want to export individual objects, you can just select each one of these guys. In this case, I want to export this whole structure. Hit Accept Pattern and Export. All right, so let's go jump into Unity over here. And I'm going to launch my desktop folder and let's go and drag and drop the my shapes object here into unity. Awesome. Look at that. So we have 
our objects here and you can see that our materials are all set up or at least they're all named so you could do a on demand remap or you can extract them or you can go and assign them you know right here one thing i should note is you need to scale it up by 100 to get it into the regular space now you can do that here inside of unity or you can do it inside of houdini uh, and to do that you would just come in here and add a transform node and just put in 100 like so okay but i'm going to keep it all inside of unity over here so let's go back to unity and i'm going to apply all my changes let's drag and drop this into the scene and now you can see we have individual objects for our shapes pretty cool all right so that's what i wanted to cover it's just one of those you know little things that isn't really talked about too much um, and i know i remember when i was first learning you know all this stuff with houdini um, getting that concept across was something that I, I'd never really searched for and never really knew about um, until, you know, probably about a year or so into it. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys. Thanks so much.